Hello, in this video we are going to create this page turn logo or text animation using Adobe After Effects. Before getting into this video, I would like to ask you to like this video. That would help me a lot in creating more such videos. And if you enjoy the content in the channel, please do subscribe my channel. Okay, let's move on to the tutorial. Open up After Effects and create a new composition. I am choosing a full HD composition with a duration of 10 seconds. So now create a new solid and name it as background. Search for gradient map effect from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the background solid layer. Choose color of your choice. Now for the logo. Uh, I am going to create my own version. You can also use your PNG files for logo animation. Now central in the text. To create a shape around the text, uh, click on the rectangle. With fill set to none and stroke set to solid color. Create a shape as shown. Center in the shape layer. Now select these two text layer and the shape layer and pre-compose them. Name it as logo placeholder. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for fill effect and apply it into the logo placeholder. Change the fill color to whatever color you want. Again go to the effects and presets panel and search for CC page 10 effect and apply it into the same layer. In the effect controls, set the controls to classic UI and change the fold position, fold direction and the radius as shown or you can experiment with your own values. Set the back page to none and the back opacity to 100%. Make sure the color of the paper color and the fill color are the same. Now create a keyframe for full portion at the start of the timeline and set it as the logo is out of the composition. Go forward about 4 seconds and set the value so that the logo is in its final portion. Now search for transform effect and apply it into the logo placeholder. Go to the 1 second mark and set the keyframe for opacity with the value of 0. And go to the 2 second mark and set the value back to 100. Go to the 1 second 5 frame mark and set the scale value to 0. And go forward about 1 second and set the scale value back to 100. Select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor and change the graph as shown. Now duplicate the logo place folder, Ctrl plus T. And in the effect controls, change the fill color and the paper color. Repeat the process as many times as you want. And now go to the timeline and offset each logo placeholder composition by 3 or 4 frames. Now let's stamp preview this. That's good. Select all placeholder compositions and pre-compose them. Name it as you wish. Now 
for the subtext create a new text layer and type in your text align it wherever you want apply the typewriter effect to the subtext layer and adjust the keyframes to your desired timing of the typing effect Now ramp to view this. That's it. If you want, you can pre-compose the text layer. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you learn something. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This is Raudran signing off. See you in another tutorial.